This is part two of the new pay, uh, the new changes that Facebook made to their pages. Last time we took a high level overview and we ended on uh, this idea of featured. So before uh, in in the old pages, it was difficult to actually link existing efforts uh, and pages. Uh, so for example, if you were if you were Starbucks and you wanted to be able to highlight individual Starbucks stores, there was no real way to do that. You could favorite individual Starbucks locations, but it was sort of random as to which ones would appear. Now you can actually say add featured likes. So you can click here and you can you can select from your list of likes who you want to appear on on your front page. So let's just say this one, uh, this one, this one, and this one, and this one. And so we're going to say save. <clears throat> and if we go back to our Facebook pa Facebook uh, homepage now, signed in as our page, you'll be able to see that on our profile or on our on our on our page view, you'll be able to see the ones that we suggested as liked show up right there. And you can go back to the edit menu and rearrange those and everything like that. Uh, and so that's basically how that works. Um, there's a couple other things that are new with the new Facebook pages. We kind of covered uh, notifications in the last screencast, but uh, we looked at up here where it shows you new likes. You also get alerts when people comment on your posts and uh, and things like that. So you and like I said, you also get an email alert, and you can control email alerts by basically just going to. You can go account, and then you have to go uh, switch back to Cody, switch back to your profile. Then once you're here, you're going to go account, uh, account settings, and then click notifications. Once your notifications, you scroll down here to pages, and then change email settings for individual pages. Uh, and then you can go in here and basically if you want to go to you check which ones you want to get email notifications for in that in this menu so anything that's checked here uh, these settings right here will apply to it and you'll get notifications via email the last major change is with photos so if we go back here and we go uh, use this page again to use the page and we're going to switch to our to my or switch to Cody Swan's uh, page so the last big thing here is the feature on uh, the feature um, the feature treatment that photos get. So before photos were kind of buried, but now they sort of stay along top up here, um, and you can uh, to give them featured. And again, if you happen to click one of these, it'll open it up into a lightbox menu where someone can flip through and see all the various photos that you have uploaded. And that pretty much covers the significant changes on the Facebook pages. It's a welcome addition as far, as far as I'm concerned. My favorite thing is the alerts that you can get because I was a pain in the butt trying to uh, use third-party services to get notifications when someone replied to your comments or, or when you got new likes. Uh, this makes it a lot easier. Uh, I do wish that you could reply to um, people on their walls, but I could see how that could get abused every once in a while. So all in all, I think these are really, really good changes, and, and I'm glad to see them.